What's up guys, it's your boy Tay here on Everyday Life. Uh, right now I'm going to show you how to actually replace the notorious license plate bulb that actually has issues with this particular car. This is a Mercedes 2005 C240. Um, the particular issue is actually the license plate bulbs themselves, they go out in a short circuit and they will not uh, illuminate. So you potentially get pulled over. How you're going to fix that is basically you're going to take all this piece out and actually replace it with a new um, I ordered this right off of eBay. It's got the new LED. It does not have the bulb. The old one uh, looks like this with actually with the bulb unit in here. These actually go bad. They get corroded and that's what happened with this vehicle. So moving forward, let's go ahead and take this apart. Um, Alright guys, we're just going to pop it just like this. It's really easy to do. Um, try not to force it. It comes straight out pretty easy. Um, just like that. And then the other one just right out also try not to lose these because these are expensive at the dealership we're talking about 30 bucks for just a pack of 12 okay so let's just make sure you don't lose it now we're going to take this actual trim off the actual trunk there's pop mechanisms on the back here you pop it out and it looks just like that comes right out there's three of them on this side do the same thing repeat it it just pops right out and that comes out just like that all right, now we just put this. Now we can go on the other side and do the same thing. <clears throat> this is already pre-taken out. So we're gonna do the same thing and pop this loose. And that comes right out too. And again, I already had pre-taken that piece out just for your entertainment. All right, now the actual uh, nice trim here. It's gonna take these two screws out. It's gonna take the T15. It'll get it all these screws out here for you. There's only two of them. They pop out loose. This piece will stay on. Now we actually take the same uh, trim clips that we had earlier. It's just going to pop right out right now just for show. I have one here holding this actual trim out. Same scenario. It just pops with a flathead screwdriver. It comes out just like so. And it just slides right off. Now be careful, when this comes off, there's actually um, electrical wire going to this particular press button. So you want to pull this off, be careful because you'll pull that cord out. So we'll go ahead and take that out. And again. This is the cord that I was talking about. Let's go ahead and zoom in so they can see. All it is, guys, is pressing this clip, let it go down and pull to the left. The trim comes out, set it to the side. Now we are exposed to electrical wire. This actually was holding us to the trim for the emergency press button. These wires are going to the actual light bulb trim that was actually in these areas itself. So now that we have that off, the next thing we do is actually unscrew the license plate trim plate which is this particular unit here. There's actually a uh, screw underneath here, underneath the license plate. There's two things you can do. You take these out, and I, which I will do to show you. Um, I already had pre-screwed, unscrewed it, so that's, I can do this by hand now. So what I'll do is unscrew by hand, and the actual plate comes off. So now what you're gonna do is use a quarter inch socket with the, actually the, uh, the 5 16 socket and actually take it on one side and actually loosen this bolt. This is the bolt we're looking for guys. Exactly right there is what we're going to take off. That is actually holding the license plate trim. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. Okay guys, like I said, the screw comes out here. This actually holds the license plate trim. So we're going to pop this, make sure you don't lose this. Put this on the trim here. Like so and there's gonna be rivets on each one there's about six of them there's stuff uh, or eight of them sorry there's four on each side there's one two three four and the same thing on the bottom one two three four and there's actually clips underneath in the inside of the trunk that you can pop up by pushing something in there like so Or 
you could actually pop it with that screwdriver that you have. You may damage your trim, so be careful when you're doing this. license plate trim is completely off. This is what how you get into the light bulb itself. So we'll put this on the side. So now we're exposed to the light bulb itself. This unit will come off. There, I already uh, had taken this piece off already. So this comes off from the inside. You pop it loose and it comes out. This one comes out a little harder than the other side. Um, sometimes they both are hard. Okay, here we go pops out it just comes out just like that guys so now what we do is we're gonna actually install the new LED light that I just got off of eBay this cost me ten ninety nine. dollars uh, it was about a three-day shipping so now I get to try it in and let's see how it goes so same scenario to put it back together we're just gonna do reverse roll so it just snaps in place like that Go ahead and put the actual license plate trim back on. Make sure these clips go into the holes that they're designed for. There's four on each side, like I told you earlier. So they're lined up just like that. Let's go ahead and secure this bolt in here. This is the license plate bolt, or license bolt trim, I mean. Same thing, we're gonna use a quarter inch socket with the actual 5 16 uh, 516 socket with the actual four inch ratchet. We just want to secure it nice and fit. Now let's go ahead and connect the lights. And they snap right in place guys. Same with this one. All right. All right, guys, look at the new LED lights. They're on, nice label. So I had this issue for about five months now, and now I finally got new LED lights. These are actually programmed. You won't have the actual um, display saying your license plate is out. Now I have lights. You won't get pulled over, guys. So now we can actually put everything back together because it's on and we're done to go. So let's go ahead and reassemble everything and uh, go from there. All right guys, you see how it was done. Um, a lot of the screws were already pre-taken out so that was easy for you guys to watch. Uh, this job took me about half an hour to 45 minutes. It's, uh, it's been about five months since I got this part. So now I get to avoid the police officer's tickets, warnings, pullovers, whatever, you know. So get it fixed, get it done. You got it done right. Follow me, it's your boy Tay. You know, jack of all trades, everyday lifestyle. Every now and then you'll see me show you how to work on cars. So peace out, follow me, hit me, subscribe. Peace.